In AlgoLab course, we explore three main paths you can take. Forex and CFD, futures, or stocks and ETFs. Each of these paths has its own rhythm, opportunities, and challenges. To make it easier to imagine, let's meet three traders. Each of them chose a different direction. Meet Martin. He started with a small account and wanted to gain real trading experience as quickly as possible. So he chose Forex and CFD. Why? Because it's accessible. You don't need a big capital to start and you can get real market exposure right away. Martin's strategies make many short, frequent trades. He runs them on the stable MetaTrader platform, which is great for automation. And since he trades through prop trading programs, he can access more capital than he personally owns. So in short, you can start small, get fast feedback and lots of trades. It runs smoothly on MetaTrader, it's perfect for prop trading, but you can expect higher fees in a very competitive environment. Martin's path is great for traders who want action, speed and quick learning. Now let's talk about Peter. Peter already had some algo trading experience. He wanted to expand his systems and trade on multiple markets at once. He chose futures, the preferred choice among professional algo traders. His system ran across indexes, commodities and energies. Thanks to lower trading fees, he can diversify easily. But he also knows that futures trading needs more starting capital and reliable life monitoring. So, in short, there are lower trading fees, it's great for diversification, but there is higher capital requirement and more demanding execution in life trading. Peter's path fits systematic thinkers who like data, precision and working across several markets. And then there's Mary. She decided to take a different route, focusing on stocks and ETFs. Mary builds portfolio-based strategies that grow steadily over time. She likes the long-term logic of this approach, where are fewer trades, but stronger foundations. Her systems can manage her own money, or she can use seed capital allocation programs to trade with company capital. So in short, robust and stable strategies, clear long-term approach, option to trade with company provided capital, but it requires patience during market drawdowns. Mary's path fits long-term investors who value stability and clear, steady approach. If you are still unsure, think about your goals, your time and your personality. If you like action and you are starting with a smaller account, Forex and CFD might be your way to go. It's fast, it's accessible and great for prop trading. Just remember, higher fees and strong competition come with the territory. If you are more of an analytical mind who loves structure and data, futures could be the right fit. You will get low fees, strong diversification and professional level environment. But it does require more capital and a bit more technical confidence. And if you are patient, long-term type who prefers steady growth, then stocks and ETFs might be your best match. It's simple, robust and great for building something that lasts. You just have to be patient during the slow periods or market downturns. None of these paths is better or worse. Each has its strengths, its risks and its unique rhythm. The only thing that truly matters is that once you choose your style, you have to stick with it. Pick your color, choose your market and follow your path and focus on mastering it because in trading, consistency beats curiosity. Hello everyone, my name is Tomas and I'm strategic one expert with over 10 years of experience and in this course I'm preparing for you videos about Forex and CFDs. Hi, my name is Libor and I've been trading for five years. In this course I'm preparing materials on trading stocks using the stock picking method. Hello, I'm Cornel Mazur. I'm the godfather of Algo Cloud. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course.